Hi, I'm Roger Sutton and here we are for another monthly update about what's been going on in Christchurch. I'm standing at the corner of Madras and Chester Street East at the site of the new Margaret Mahi Family Playground. It's going to be the largest family playground in the country. It's going to have all sorts of cool things in it. It's going to have um, a massive four metre wide slide, which I guess the whole family can slide down together on, flying foxes, a 10 metre high climbing frame, all sorts of cool things. We're working closely with the Margaret Mahi family and also Elsie Locke's family. Elsie Locke had a reserve named after her just down the road here where the old Centennial Pool used to be. It's a big, gutsy playground. What we're trying to do is bring children back into the city. There's a lot of younger people in the city who don't really know about the CBD, who don't really, hadn't really been in here um, before the quakes, don't really remember it. And we're trying to bring those people in. It's a $3 million playground. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. It's also sort of really close to more residential development. There's the residential stuff, which has always existed around us here, but also further down towards the south, um, down towards Churm Street. We call that the Eastern Frame. And that's an area where we want something like 750, 800 houses to be built over this next period of time. We've got four developers we're working with at the moment um, on ideas to develop um, those houses maybe housing something like 2,000 people. We want to get those contracts up, signed by the developers by the end of the year, and hopefully we'll be building by the middle of next year. The other thing about this area, it's also close to Performing Arts Precinct, which is down where the Isaac Theatre Royal is currently being restored. It's close to New Regent Street, so it's close to a really, a really interesting part of town. And I think for a lot of people, they kind of dream about maybe living in the Eastern Frame, playing in the playground, coffees in New Regent Street, going to things um, in the Performing Arts Precinct. We're really trying to build a cluster, a whole corner of Christchurch here, which is going to be really exciting. The other thing about this corner of town is it's really close to the river as well. Here we are beside the river. And a couple of kilometres down the river, in the area we, which we used to call the Strip, we're soon going to be really getting into the work around building the promenade. So the promenade is turning the area around the river into a much better cycling, walking, sitting, socialising sort of area. More new paving stones, um, seats, areas to make it just a much more pleasant place to be. So that work starts now. We want to have it open in time for the Cricket World Cup in February of next year. And over the next year or so, that work will carry on down the river um, to here at the Margaret Mahi family playground. The idea is we also want to get building owners and developers to be building in a way that's really in keeping with the promenade as well. So we end up with sort of an integrated area of river, promenade and then buildings and so on as well. Really doing a lot to make the, the river very much the heart of the city. We've talked quite a lot today about central city stuff. But for a lot of people, they're still struggling with things around their houses. Getting houses fixed, getting repairs made. There are now three different services available to help people with difficulties with repair processes and insurance issues. The first is called Let's Find and Fix. The second is the In The Know website. And the third is the Residential Advisory Service. Let's Find and Fix is a free service designed to help people who need temporary earthquake repairs done to their houses. It's doing things like getting doors to shut and lock that aren't shutting and locking because the house is off level before a major repair or rebuild. It's fixing leaks in roofs. It's trying to help people with dampness issues. It's a free service working with all the insurers to, to get those repairs made. We've helped something like four or five hundred families so far. If you want to know more about the service or how it can help you, have a look on the screen now. There's details of how to get in touch with them. The second service is In The Know. So In The Know is a, is a system where people email in questions to um, a website, and that website then goes off and gets people to answer their questions. The questions might be, um, when's the road on St Martin's Road getting fixed? Or it could be, um, do I get new carry floorboards if I've got carry floorboards when I'm getting a rebuild? It could be a whole range of different things. What the end of the no people do is they send your question off to the person who can answer it and then those answers go up on the website for everybody to see. So if you don't want to ask a question, you just want to see what answers are there, in the know.org.nz has all those questions and answers. 
The third service is the Residential Advisory Service. And that's a service designed to help people who are struggling with insurance issues. The issues can be big or small. And most of the service works by putting people in touch with um, an independent advisor, who more than likely is going to be a, a lawyer, who then, if necessary, then facilitates a, th a three-way meeting between you, the insurance company and that advisor to try and work through the issues. The issues could be as simple as the insurance company sending you the cash um, to go and fix your driveway. You don't want the cash. You actually simply want your driveway fixed. Or it could be much more complicated than that. It could be the fact that the insurance company has gone from rebuild to repair, rebuild to repair, and they're back on repair, and you think it's got to be a rebuild. So it works with people, with families, to resolve those issues. All the details of these services are up on the screen now. We've had literally hundreds of people through these programs, and if you are struggling, you should get in touch with us. We do want to do the right thing and help people with these difficult issues. Here we are on a fantastic spring day and it really feels like spring has arrived with a really big rush. In three weeks time we're going to start a walking series and one of the walks I'm here to promote is called Walking by the River. It's a guided walk starting down by the boat sheds, the Antigua boat sheds, and following right around the river by guides who know what's happening in the CBD who can tell you about all the different plans that are going on. Um, it's part of a walking, walking series. You'll find information about that on the Greater Christchurch Recovery Update or on the Sarah website. All the, all the information you'll need to know is there. So if you need one, anything more about the stories we've talked about today or want to know more about the recovery, you'll find more about it on the Sarah website, sarah.govt.nz. And also, you'll obviously read a lot about it in the Greater Christchurch Recovery Update, which will be coming on your mailboxes any day now. Thanks for watching.